Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to use tables in HTML. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use tables in HTML. So first, let me know what is meant by HTML tables. An HTML table is defined with table tag. If you want to implement table inside HTML, you want to use table tag. Each table row is defined with T or tag. If you want to define a table row, you want to use T or tag. A table header is defined with the TH tag. If you want to use TH tag, that is a header tag, table header, you want to use TH. By default, table headings are bold and center. A table data cell is defined with TD tag. So in order to define a data cell, you want to use TD tag. So now we are going to see an example. For example, I want to create a table like this which consists of employee ID and employee name. So how many rows and how many columns are in this table? So there are three rows. Row 1, Row 2, Row 3. And how many columns? Column 1, Column 2. So there are three rows and two columns. So here comes your HTML code. So we are going to implement the same. And we are going to see how it works. So in order to do the HTML coding, I am going to use a notepad. So I am going to use a run window in order to open a notepad. So I am going to type HTML, so followed by head tag. And inside head tag, you have title tag. So give, give a title, let us say example for table and close the title tag and close the head tag and then open the body tag then close the body tag and close the HTML tag so this is a usual syntax for an HTML so now we are going to key in our code inside the body tag. So now I'm going to implement the table followed by, let us say, I'm going to implement the border properties, let us say two or three as you like. And then the first row, the tier. So open and close the tier. Inside the tier, you want to use th why I'm going to use th you can see here you have a heading right employee underscore ID and employee underscore name both are in bold and center how because and here we are going to use th tag so th let us say emp underscore ID and close the th tag and then again th emp underscore name okay and close the th tag and close the tr tag so now we have defined the first row first row consists of two columns First one is employee ID. It's going to be bold and center because we are going to use th tag. And employee name is going to be bold and center because we are going we are using th tag. So I'm going for next row tr and close this tr. So I'm going for first column td. So what is the C first one EMP 101 and your wish. Okay. So I'm going to use EMP 101 and close the first table data and second one. You can see second one is EMP name under your cache. So I'm going to type the same underscore so now you are defined the second row so now I'm going for one more row TR table row 
close the table row and then first data that is first column td so what is it emp 102 okay so i'm going to type emp 102 and close the table data i'm going for a second table data what it is so the emp name is kartik so under td Now, after finishing all the tasks, we want to close the table tag because the HTML tag comes in pair. Now, we want to save it. So, I am going to save in desktop. Let us say you can use any name. I am going to use Sam or HTML and save as type. Select all files and save. Now. Why is that? Here is a sample HTML. We are going to open this HTML file, and we are going to check how it comes. See why you can see the employee ID and employee name is there, and all the data is are there. So, this is how you want to use a table tag inside an HTML. So if you want to change the border, I will show you how to change the border. See here, if you give it in and save it, and while well, you can refresh, now you can see the border size has been changed. The table is having a lot of properties like BG color, let us say yellow. So if you want to change the background, the uh, table background color, see this is a BG color of the table. Where you can use any color cell spacing you can use. Let us say five or six as you like. So now you can see the cell spacing. So this is how you want to use a table inside the HTML. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.